Hello, welcome back everyone. In today's video, I will share on how to transform a photo to a painting. And this cat will be my test subject. First thing we need to do is to simplify the image. Usually, we can do this with a paint mixer brush, but this is a very time consuming job. Out of the box, Affinity has no good built-in filter for simplifying the image. But there's a good set of filters we can use from a free plugin called GMIC. Here is the website of the GMIC plugin. If you're using Windows, you are in luck, because there is a plugin you can use directly in Affinity for Windows. If you are an unlucky cat like me, using a Mac, we need to do things differently. It seems that the GMIC plugin is also available on GIMP, which is good news as GIMP also runs on Macs. The easiest GIMP version you can use is the MC GIMP, and as a bonus, it already includes the GMIC plugin. Please do not forget to also install the XQuartz library. I found the download link for MC GIMP Tricky to find. But if you scroll down, there should be a download section with a link to the latest version of MC GIMP. So let's get back to our cat. Let me copy the image and switch over to GIMP. If I paste the image to GIMP, it will create a new document with our cat image. To apply a GMIC filter, let's go to the filter menu and select the GMIC filter. In the GMIC dialog, select from the artistic section the Vector Painter filter. With the Details value field, you need to experiment a bit to find out what works best for your image. The higher the value, the more details will be kept in the photo. For this image, I'm going to use a value around 9.7. However, when applied, I feel like I lost too much detail. I will undo with command Control z and open the GMIC filter again. This time I will increase the detail to 9.8 to keep more detail. Looks perfect. Let's copy the image and paste it back to Affinity Photo. The idea is to give the image a painted look. Before I continue, I will apply a bilateral blur to smoothen things a bit more. As the bilateral blur is CPU intensive, I will use Merge Visible and turn off the bilateral layer. Makes things run a bit smoother, at least on my machine. The next thing I will do right now is to add a displace filter with a map file containing a painted canvas. A link to the used map will be in the description. Let me adjust the strength so it gives a subtle difference. You can see this when I zoom in. It makes the image a bit more organic, as I like to call it. Next is to use a lightning filter to give more depth, similar to a real painting. Set the lightning to directional and adjust the amount, the direction and the texture to a value what you feel like it looks realistic. Pretty awesome. To make things look more interesting, let's also add a canvas structure to the image. I will drag and drop my canvas texture on top of the image. Let's change the blend mode to linear burn and resize it a bit. If you think the canvas structure is too much, you can always lower the opacity of it. With the canvas showing through, I think we can increase the texture value in the lightning layer. Looking good already. To make it even better, let's try adding another lightning effect, but this time with a bump map of a canvas with brush strokes. Link to the bump file will also be in the description. Let's not forget to set the lightning to the correct position in the layers panel. 
Once happy with the initial setting, let me adjust the blend range of this lightning to control the effect. A bit more fine tuning to the lightning layers to get that realistic look. There are no magic numbers here. You have to experiment and see what works best for your composition. And this, my friends, is how you create a realistic looking painting effect. Of course there is a lot more you can do to fine tune the image. Let me share a couple of examples. You could play with the displacement map to get more organic distortions. Another idea could be to add a vignette which would work very well with this image. If you want a more detailed canvas, you can copy the vector paint layer and apply a high pass filter and use the overlay blend mode in combination with a blend range to get more details in the painting. Also, depending on the look you're going for, you can adjust the lightning layer with the bump map to get more structure in the whole painting. I also like to use the scope tools. For example, in the RGB parade window, I noticed the blue and the red are a bit out of sync with the green. So with a curves layer, I can fix that. You immediately notice the painting gets a more natural look. You can also add textures on top of it, like an old or cracked wall, to give more details. Just experiment. Here is a screenshot of a cracked wall applied. Well, I hope you liked this video and thanks again for watching.